Have you guys ever grown potatoes in a grow bag? Well, neither have I. So today we're gonna join this journey together. If you have grown potatoes in a grow bag, please leave me any advice and tips down in the comments. I'd really like to know some of your secrets on how to get the biggest potato yield from your grow bags. So for now, I'm just following along with some simple basic steps that I've researched and seeing what happens. Look what I got. What do you got? I took your potato growing bags and your other bags to the greenhouse and I went out back to where we have the big discard pile and I filled your bags with lots and lots of lovely soil for you to grow things. Yay! Those potatoes are ready to go in the ground. They've been chitting in the pantry for like a week now. Well then I'm right on time. Yeah, thank you. Now I gotta get them off the truck. Yeah, so just line them up along the outside of the garden fence. Cause I don't think deer will eat potato leaves, do you? On the outside? Yes, on the outside. Save room in the garden for other things. All right. Thank you. We can always move them if we need to. Exactly, I love handles. it. I've never used grow bags before, so this is our first time using these grow bags, but I've heard a lot of huge success, especially with potatoes. These so. are very, they seem like they're very durable. Um, the fabric on these is quite nice. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna do well. Good. potato grow bags. They're a little bit different than those other ones. Different material, they're taller and deeper, so you could grow potatoes in them, and they have a cute little butt flap, so you can go in and uh, harvest potatoes when it's time. That's pretty awesome. I'm excited about that. Thank you, Paige. All right, here we go. I'm not for sure yet if these are all gonna be potatoes, but I do have at least four or five different kinds that we're growing this year. So it is possible we could end up with quite a few potatoes out of these bags. I'm excited. All right, today we are growing our potatoes. And this is the first year, the first time we've ever used potato grow bags, which is really beneficial to us this year because we have a very very wet garden and the potatoes could have done very poorly if we had planted them in the ground. The potato grow bags have a lot of advantages for space and maneuverability. We can pick them up and move them if we need to. So what we're doing is we just have a couple of inches of soil in the bottom and then we're adding a layer of potatoes spread out a few inches. You see it's so easy a three-year-old can do it. Not hard. This is easy, right, Liam? Yeah. So these potatoes have all been cut in half so that there's a few eyes on each half. If it was a super small potato, we might not cut it in half. We wanna make sure there's at least a couple of eyes on each section. We store them in dry peat moss. That helps keeping them from growing too much. You can see that they've put out some roots but not too much, so they should do just fine. So normally, when we plant our potatoes in the garden beds, we, plant a tr we dig a trench and we plant them along that trench. And we plant them about three to six inches deep usually, usually on the deeper end. But with as wet as it is, that would not have been a wise choice this year. So, I hope that peat isn't too dry on them, but it should be all right with the moisture from the soil. The soil is already moist, pre-moistened. Peat does not absorb moisture very good. So it's a good idea to make sure that you start out with a moist potting mix as it is. So we're gonna go about, so we're just gonna cover it about halfway up from there. And leave a little bit of room still. You wanna flatten that out? Yeah. Good boy. So we can water this in now and wait for the plants to start growing. They're going to 
come out of the soil and begin growing. And when I see them coming out of the soil, I'm actually gonna add more soil on top until the plant height is just a little bit out of the soil until we get to the top. Once we reach the top of the potting bag with soil, we're going to allow the plants to grow to full height. They will bloom. When they're done blooming, that's when we know it's time to dump the potato bag out and see how many wonderful potatoes we have. These potato grow bags do have these openings. They're like, they're like spud flats. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to do it now because it's full of soil, but you see, it's Velcroed down the seams. And then I can Velcro it up here and actually I can do that halfway through the season and harvest baby potatoes if I want to. So that's kind of cool to be able to grab a few while it's still I'm growing. There's some bugs in it? That's good. And if you find any worms in the garden, you can put them in the potato bags now. Yeah. I'm going to remove the soil from these bags. These haven't been planted yet. We just had Ryan bring us home this wonderful potting soil from work, from their compost pile, which is mostly just potting soil. So this next potato is a beautiful, rich, reddish purple color. And that's gonna go in this bag. The next ones are, I believe these are red Pontiac. So they're white on the inside, but red skin. Those will go in this bag. And I think these are a type of russet. So that's perfect for growing these four bags. And then this, this fabric pot, I'm doing something that a lot of you guys have asked about. So many times I get questions of, can you plant store-bought potatoes? Well, if your organic store-bought potato has growths on it like this, you absolutely can plant it. So you're gonna be able to watch through the season as they grow and see what kind of a harvest we get from growing store-bought potatoes that are not seed potatoes. So I just wanted to show you guys that that is a possibility too, because it's something that we've done for years is just cut off the eyes of our potatoes and plant those. This is a bit of an experiment. The temperatures are supposed to be really high this week. And these are actually sweet potatoes. They're Japanese sweet potatoes, they're purple on the inside. The problem is, is I am starting all my sweet potato from slips. And my other sweet potatoes, which was a different variety, it was a red skin potato. And I also have a white sweet potato. All of those were put into a cup of water at the same time. So you put your bottom end, well, what you think is the bottom end, into the water and the roots start growing and soon enough um, the slips will grow off the top of the sweet potato. But all of the other varieties have full of roots and slips starting to grow. This is the only one that did not work and the only thing I can think of is that the tops and bottoms are mixed up. So there's another method of starting sweet potato slips that doesn't involve a cup of water and that is planting them right into the soil, waiting till they sprout. So you see, I just did it sideways, just sideways, just slightly below the soil line, sideways. And what's gonna happen now is, it doesn't matter what end is up because I've laid them sideways. So the side that's supposed to grow roots will grow roots and the side that's supposed to grow slips will grow slips and I can remove the slips from this pot. Now, normally sweet potatoes would not be an outside thing that you start your slips, but because the weather is gonna be so fantastic this week, we absolutely can do that with this one experimental try. And the other thing is, is these are portable. If it gets cold, I can just bring it into the barn. All right, so one thing I'm finding as I'm moving along planting is that some of my potato orders are actually much larger than potatoes for one bag. So I'm dividing some of them up into no, two no. grow bags so that they'll have a little no. bit more space. You don't want to overcrowd them, but it's okay to have no, no. a good amount in no, no. there because it's just going to mean you're going to grow more. No, no. What? 
I actually found a grub and I killed a grub. You found a grub and you killed it? Yeah. Well, why didn't you feed it to the chickens? Because I think it was a different grub. Well, when you find grubs, you feed them to the chickens, okay? But I actually two times. Where's the bee that was on the stick? The bee that you saved yesterday flew away. Because it was all, all better. <laughs> All right, got all these bags full of potatoes. I'm super excited. This one here is the only one that's different. It's the one that we're trying to get the sweet potatoes started on. So everything else is our potatoes. I'm super stoked. I will continue to show you through the growing season how they do, and we'll be able to compare how store-bought potatoes do versus the others and how these grow bags do compare to those because we have three identical varieties in both of the bag types. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video about growing potatoes in a grow bag. And if you guys have any ideas or tips on growing in a grow bag, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to have your help with this. Thank you for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. So there's another method for growing your pe sweet potato slips that doesn't involve screaming children. <laughs>